Hello colors and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with this transfer news talking about Real Sociedad sensation Martin Zubimendi as the Barca priority mutual target will not leave Real Sociedad according to new reports and Javi is very very disappointed by that. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about manager Xavi himself, as Xavi will inform four Barca stars about their fate very soon. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the stories in more detail, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post bell notification so you always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video. And please watch right up to the very end. Speaking to the media, so, so that president the other week, you know, has claimed that Zubimendi will not be leaving the club amid strong links, strong links to FC Barca. With Busquets, who he said to leave Barca very soon, our manager Xavi Hernandez has made it abundantly clear that he wants a top-class pivot midfielder to replace his captain next season. As such, Martin Zubimendi is understood to be at the top of manager's wish list, even though the Barca, um, Barca are in a tricky situation financially and might be unable to meet his 16 million euro release clause. Despite that, Xavi continues to prioritize a move for him, but um, Sociedad President um, has pretty much refused and ruled out the possibility of any move for Martin Zubimendi in June, claiming that the defensive midfielder wants to stay put in San Sebastian. He said, when they come for a player, there is little you can do, you know, but I don't think any of the Real Sociedad players are going to leave. We are currently not going to open any doors for anybody, the president said. Talking about Zubimendi in particular, the president said, nobody has told me that they want to buy Martin, and I believe that Martin is going to stay and that he doesn't want to leave anytime soon. He continued by saying he is a very talented player for us who want to play in Champions League football next season. With Real, we have no intention of seeing him go into Barca or any other team. When further probed about the transfer and asked if he would answer a call from Barca president, Mr. Juan Laporta, the president of Sociedad said, yes, of course, I will answer the phone for sure. Apolto is a great man. He can call me to congratulate us because I'm sure he's happy that Real Sociedad this year finally made it to the Champions League for next season. Martins Bimendi continues to be Javi's preferred choice. There's no secret about that as Barcelona continues to look for Sergio Busquets' replacement. Busquets announced that he will be departing the club. Martins Bimendi have always been the top choice for Barca, especially because of Xavi, who have been prioritizing the kid. And as it stands right now, given the words of Sociedad president, it looks as though a move for Martin will be very, very, very difficult. It's going to be very tricky. It's going to be very tricky because the player um, price tag is 60 million euro. And Barca, with the financial state we are currently in, are facing so much difficulties in paying that amount. You know, they want the Sociedad to come into negotiations. But it seems as though the club have not even made any attempt to say, okay, let's open the door so that we can negotiate nothing. So from the look of things now, uh, when we look at the words of the president of Sociedad, a move for Zubimendi looks almost impossible now. And um, Barcelona have linked with other players, not only Zubimendi. So I think Barca will be putting more attention. They should be putting more attention to other players because if they want to put all their eggs in one basket, then sorry then they are bound to fail. So we just hope that um, a better replacement, or let me say a good replacement for Sergio Busquets is being found on board this season because it's not easy to get the exact profile of Busquets because Javi initially um, liked Zumimendi to be Busquets' replacement because of the profile, of the way he plays, his style of playing in that, in that DM role is really, really likely like Busquets. And from the look of things, if Barca are unable to meet with the demands of Sociedad, then Javi needs to focus on other targets who have been linked with um, Ruben Neves, who is currently 
President Juan Laporta's top choice in the DM role, even though Xavi does not like him. But Juan Laporta have insisted that they must buy him next season. Then we have Ilkay Gondogan. You know, there are players, very good players out there. Sofian Amrabat. Barcelona still linked with those players because they know that if they put all their hopes in one, it's going to be very, very, very risky, you know. So let's see how it goes from here on. As Subimendi coming to Barca looks like an impossible task unless Barcelona tries so hard, so, so hard to push for the deal to come to fruition, which I don't know if it will. Hopefully it does. Then on to the final story of discussion. Xavi will inform four Barca stars very soon who are not in his plans at all for the next season about your fate starting from Thursday. This claim comes from Javi Miguel of AS who reports that the four players who are unlikely to be at the club next season is Ferran Torres, Rankisi, Ansu Fati and Pablo Torre. Although the latter will also be loaned out maybe to clubs like Villarreal. Barca need to make some major sales in the coming weeks if they are to meet financial fair play requirements and go ahead with their transfer plans. As such, Fatih has been one of the most strongly linked with an exit due to his popularity and potential. The 20-year-old has found game time very tough to come by under Xavi this season and the manager's decision has been more than justified. However, last night, the other night, we saw Fatih show some great skills, scoring a brace against Mallorca. And there is still plenty of interest, you know, in Ansu Fati, especially from the Premier League. Even though the La Masia ace wants to stay, FC Barcelona, through Javi Hernandez, will communicate to him that they think an exit is the best, best decision for all parties involved as Fati can start afresh elsewhere and the club as well can lighten their situation, um, let me say their financial burden. As for Torres, he too has found himself in the same boat as Fati, finding minutes so hard to come, even though he has future. The Spaniard has not always been at the top of his game. As such, Barca are ready to take a loss on Torres and sell him 20 or 25 million only. Meanwhile, Barca's decision to part ways with Frank Casey is not based on sporting motives but purely financial motive. Given that the arrive for free, any transfer fee for the Ivory Coast international fetches will be written down as net profits in the book. So, guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye bye.